What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record and edit a speed art video. So guys, currently playing on the screen is one of my previous speed arts that I created for a YouTuber called Lachlan, and you guys absolutely loved this video, and I also got a lot of questions asked about how I actually create speed arts and the process that's behind it. So in this video, I thought I would go through it to help a lot of you beginners out there. The actual process of creating a speed art video is really, really simple. I know a lot of people do struggle with it. That's why I thought I would make this video. And also a lot of you ask how I add some of the visual effects. So I thought I'd go through a couple of them in the this video later on but for now we're going to get started with the basics so first of all you're going to need two pieces of software okay so firstly you're going to need some sort of screen recorder i personally recommend obs which stands for open broadcaster software um, i use obs studio as you can see this is the website where you will be able to download it from and i will leave a link to it in the description down below so you guys can simply click on it and then all you have to do is press download installer and it will download on the bottom left hand corner of your screen and then once you are ready you can and click on that and you will be able to follow the steps in order to download the software okay so the next essential is going to be some form of editing program i personally use sony vegas pro um, i'm on sony vegas pro 15 i believe which does look like this a really simple program to use and in this video this is what i will be using so if you want the same as me i definitely recommend getting it i'll leave a link to it in the description down below unfortunately the program is paid and it currently costs 224 pounds which i know is a really really steep price Price. There is currently ways to get the program for free. However, I will not be able to discuss any of those in this video. Obviously, the first step in order to create a speed art is to start recording your screen and start recording the process of making it. So in order to do this, you need to open up OBS, which is the software we just downloaded, and you need to get started with some of the settings. Okay, so the first step to record your screen is going over to where it says scenes and making a brand new one. So to do this, right click it anywhere on there, go to add and you can name it whatever you wish i've got mine named as desktop video okay so now what you want to do is move over to the right hand side where it says sources so first of all we've got display capture which is my monitor so if you wish to record your monitor which hopefully you do you want to right click anywhere go to add and then press display capture and once you are on here you can name it whatever you wish and press ok and it should hopefully detect your monitor if you wish to add an overlay of some sort maybe for your webcam or just an overlay at the bottom all you have to do is go to add this time select image press ok and um, you can browse for your image file and upload it as simple as that i'm going to delete that here because i already have one okay so now moving from sources we're going to go to mixer this is basically your desktop and also mic audio if you have your microphone connected i have my mic on mute because i'm actually recording my audio through a separate program called audacity so now moving over to scene transitions i have this set to fade i honestly have no clue what this is used for so you can just ignore that and then we have settings so this is the main important part so i'm going to click on settings and it should open up in a separate window okay so now what i'm going to do is go through the obs settings or at least the settings which i believe are important for you so first of all we have the general settings which is your language and also the um theme which is basically like the color scheme of obs i have mine set to dark just because i think it's a lot easier on the eyes for all of the other general options i have this set to default so now you can move over to the next tab which is stream of course we're not streaming so i don't need to go through that okay so now moving over to output this is a fairly important setting which you need to get down first of all i have my output mode set to simple if you do wish to go ahead and add more settings and you know about the program then you can change this to advanced but i find simple works perfectly fine the first thing you are going to need to change is your video bit rate which is basically your video quality i have mine set to 30,000, which works perfectly fine for me purely because i'm not really zooming in on my videos too much much, especially when I'm making a speed up. As well as this, if I have my bitrate set to 30,000, I find that my file sizes are a really good size and they don't take up, of course, too much space on my computer. And as well as that, I don't have, of course, the best computer going. So if you have a really good computer, you can start bumping this up maybe to around about 
30,000. If your computer struggles to record with the 30,000 bit rate and there is lag, then maybe try reducing that. You basically just have to find a good bit rate amount that works for you. Below that, we have encoder. I have mine set to uh, times 264. And then we have the audio bit rate, which mine is set to 160. Of course, I record in Audacity, so the audio bit rate doesn't really matter for me. Below this, we do have some more recording settings. Um, I believe I currently can't change these because I am actually recording a video, but nonetheless, I have my recording path basically set to my videos. This is where the videos will go once you finish recording. Um, below that, we have recording quality. I have mine set to high quality, medium file size. Below that, we have recording format. The recording format is basically going to be the file type it's recorded in, and mine is set to MP4. And then below that, we have encoder, which mine is set to NVENC. I have no clue what that is. Okay, so now moving over to audio, this really doesn't matter too much, especially when you are actually recording a speed up. However, if you wish, you can copy down the settings that I have. I have my sample rate set to 48 um, kilohertz, and I also have my microphone selected in case I do actually need to record my audio on OBS. Okay, so now moving on to video, as you can see, it does say video output is currently active. That's because I am recording, so I can't change any of these settings. However, I have my base canvas set to um, 3840 by 2160. This is basically the recording resolution that I have. It really does depend on what monitor you are using. Mine's a 4K monitor, so that's the reason why it is so high. However, if you have a normal size monitor, more than likely it will be 1920 by 1080. Now moving down to hotkeys, I have a start recording as F1 and stop as F2, but it really doesn't matter. I normally don't even use those. And now finally, moving over to advanced. This is my advanced settings. I have no clue what these are. I believe they are set as a default. However, if you wish to copy these down and you know more about the program, then you can do so as well. Once you are ready and happy with all of the settings, press apply and then okay, and you can exit off that. And you can also restart the program just to make sure all of the settings are now there. Okay, so now we have gone through the recording settings. You should be able to start recording now. So all you have to do is press that little start recording button or even the hotkey if you have one set, as I said before. And then once you are happy with it, literally press stop recording. And it's as simple as that. That video will now be saved inside your videos folder or wherever you have allocated that to. As you guys can see here, this is my videos folder and I have so many here. So what I'm going to do is literally just select any random one. Let's go to the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is now drag this in to my editing software. Okay, so now you have your video recorded. What you can do is open up your editing software of choice and you can start editing this speed art. So the first step is to actually drag and drop the file in. So I'm going to select any random video here that I've recorded and I'm going to actually drag it into my editing software. If this does pop up on Sony Vegas then you can just press yes, it really doesn't matter. If we skip to the end of the video here, you can now see the time, um, well the length of the video. Mine is currently nine minutes long. So what I'm going to do is make this a lot shorter and speed it up. However, before we do speed up this clip, there's one thing that I'm going to do and that's to get rid of the blur. You may not be able to see it too much on the Sony Vegas preview, but on most videos recorded on OBS, there is a little like sort of blur left behind when you uh, like move your mouse. So in order to get rid of this, all you have to do is right click on your video, go to properties inside Sony Vegas and press disable resample and press OK once you are done and that will remove that blur. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is remove the audio. It's really simple, just make sure sure the track is selected, press U on your keyboard and that actually splits the audio and video together. And now once your audio is selected, you can press delete on your keyboard and that will now be removed. Okay, so now what we're going to do is speed up this clip. It's really simple to do this. Just skip to the end of your video file here hold down control on your keyboard and you should see time stretch appear and this like wiggly line. Now you just want to hold on your mouse and drag it simple as that it will now appear smaller on your video track and the clip will be sped up okay so now you have your video clip sped up you can start the editing process um, I'm gonna go through just very slightly how I edit my speed art so first of all I tend to add some music you guys can find music anywhere normally I find it on YouTube um, on a channel called no copyright sounds they have a lot of different music on here and of course it's copyright free so you can easily download it and also use it so I'm gonna go ahead and select on this one and we're going to download this song here and add it in 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is drag and drop this um, audio file into Sony Vegas and put it as the audio track. If you don't have an audio track and you want to make one, you right click and go to insert audio track. But there we go. Okay, so one thing I always do to the audio and video clip is fade them in. So to do this, it's really simple. You basically want to go to the start of your clip here, um, move your arrow up to the top of it here, and you can hold on to your mouse and just literally drag this over and that will now have a fade so if i play this from the start here you can see the speed art does slowly fade in as you can currently see when watching my speed art i literally don't add many visual effects at all the main one i do add is this particle sort of thing going on in the background really simple to add all you need is the video file so i'll leave a download link to it in the description down below once you do go in the description and download it you will have this file called space particles so all you have to do in order to add this is go into sony vegas you want to go over to your video clip here right click it go to insert video track and now you will have a new one above your existing one and literally just drag and drop that in and as you can see it's going to be way too short so you want to just extend that there so it does fit the length of your speed art also one thing you may notice now is that your speed art is not seen on the preview so in order to change this you want to go over to the left hand side and change the composition comp composition mode change that to screen regardless and as you can see now that will be added on top of your speed art clip regardless guys that is it for the so guys i'm just editing this video and i realized i did not actually include my sony vegas render settings now if you're interested in those they're really simple basically i use the magix avc slash aac mp4 setting and on there there's a load of different internet ones you can use i believe i use the 1080p uh 59 frames per second which is basically 60 frames per second and um, there's not really many settings i do change on there i have it on 1920 by 1080 60 frames per second and i also have the render quality as best regardless guys that is it for the video if you did go on to enjoy it or if it did help you then make sure to leave a like that would be much appreciated also if you did enjoy the video and want to see more videos like this in the future then please consider subscribing to the channel with post notifications on and you will be notified every time i upload a brand new video which hopefully will be more consistently soon and finally guys if you are looking to improve any of your graphic design skills then please consider checking out my design store i'll leave a link to it in the description down below also i'm going to be working on some new products for my store in the future so stay tuned for those and yes guys that's it for the video as i said hopefully you did enjoy this has been or james and i'm out peace